Hi, this is Denise with Paper Crafty, and I'm here today to share with you a project that I made using Cara Brandon Creations Haunting Halloween Digital Kit that can be found in her Etsy store. Uh, this is a junk journal that I made using a book that I found. Um, it's the title of it is Eat Your Poison, Dear. <laughs> I thought it was really funny. Um, and I made it into a traveler's notebook style uh, journal. It's a really thin spine. I mean, only maybe like, I don't know, three quarters of an inch maybe. Yeah, about three quarters of an inch. Um, so I wanted you to be able to, um, uh, whoever uses this, to be able to uh, take out some of the inserts if they wanted and keep it uh, thinner and smaller. It's a little bit gator mouth right now. It does have the capacity for two inserts, um, like it currently does, two signatures. Uh, but <clears throat> you can take one out if you'd like. Um, but you can see it's got all this, all the trim and whatnot along the side, which I really love. Um, I used a lot of dollar store uh, purchases and also uh, stuff from my stash that I had since Kara uh, gave us the challenge to do a dollar store uh, book this uh, this month uh, and also to use our to uh, you know uh, use our stash up. So this was really a great opportunity for me to um, you know get to use some of the things that I've had for a while that I haven't been able to use. Anyway, I really love how this turned out. It's it's a little over the top, very gothic, very um, uh, yeah, haunty, <laughs> which I really love. Um, I got this kind of uh, image here from a uh, Dollar Tree. And you see she's a lovely lady. And then you turn it this direction and she's got like this really gruesome looking face. Um, I used the frame that came with it, but just kind of um, trimmed it down a bit, made a little banner, used one of Kara's Halloween uh, uh, words there, used one of her labels in this uh, this label here, um, and used some, you know, a bunch of flowers and some little uh, spiders and, and some black flowers, just things that I had in my stash. These actually are from the dollar store, these black uh, roses and flowers, um, but they were from a while ago. I'm, you could probably still find them, but, um, and then I found this gray kind of trim also at dollar store, uh, the Dollar Tree, so that was really a lot of fun. And this is a necklace from the Dollar Tree that I ended up using as my <clears throat> closure for the book. And you can see I've extended the closure around the back. I, I left the back fairly uh, plain um, because I thought the lot, the front had a lot going on with it. But I like this one little spider kind of hanging out here with the spider uh, fabric. Uh, this is also something, I think it was a table runner uh, that I also got at uh, the Dollar Tree. So, or it might have been the 99 cents only store. Um, and these little trims along the bottom, these are these are things that I had pre in previous years gotten from the Dollar Tree. Um, these little, uh, this little uh, skull and these, uh, this was part of a larger skeleton, this little arm bone. Um, this is a Jolie's uh, sticker, it's a dimensional, and then I just put a little gem on the back of it. So like that. And again, I just really love the way that turned out. I love that she's beautiful and then, ah, ghastly. Okay, and then I just take the, the string off, I open it up, and I've got a, let's see, make sure I have it in frame. All right, I put a, um, one of Kara's, uh, library pockets here and then I added this library card. It's a great place for some journaling. And 
I just put uh, typed in the title how how you um, eat your poison deer <clears throat> and the author's name oh and this also has um, this area here that could be used as a tuck spot for stuff uh, if you wanted to and then I've got this little envelope closure with one of Kara's uh, journaling cards in here. And this has a book cover. It's covered in book cover on the interior, or book page, sorry. It just closes up like that. And then you've got this cute little Poe picture. And I like the way it layers up with the October underneath. And just a little uh, tag, one of Kara's small tags. And I left a lot of uh, open blank spots for whoever gets this journal to do journaling. Um, so I tried not to cover every surface with decoration. But I really like the way this one turned out. This was an old Martha Stewart um, a transparency, adhesive transparency. And I just made it, I only took the adhesive backing off of the three edges here and made it into a pocket. So I thought that turned out really cute and I like this little, <laughs> I thought that was funny with the layaway and the skeleton. I added the, the stamp. This is uh, more of Kara's paper here. And you could add more things in this pocket if you, if you choose. This has a cute little, um, it's kind of coming off, but it has a cute little, um, black rose and a uh, just a little piece of trim here as decoration and again this is some book page out of a uh, a book that I found that was I thought that was really funny for Halloween um, with a rat and um, falling out of this tree and some washi tape and I really like this kind of gothic uh, frame that they put around the pa the chapter uh, numbers. I thought that was really fun. Again, some more of Kara's uh, printables. And I really kept the edges rough. Uh, I used a tear ruler to tear them and then I, I um, dyed the edges uh, so that they looked really kind of rough and rustic. Uh, I have this little tuck spot here, this little tuck spot cluster, and then a couple of, uh, this is from Kara's printable page, one of her small tags, and I've got some um, fabric flowers and a uh, bat button. And this is another book page with some washi reinforcing it. I thought this was funny. It's from the Ghastly Inn, Room 3, 99 Coffin Avenue, Ghastly, Illinois. <laughs> that was cute. Um, some more of Kara's printable. I just love this kit. It really is beautiful. Uh, and I love the colors, the orange and the purple and the black together. And some washi. I've got this little paper clip with the eye there. I've got her other little one of her other little pockets here. Um, so this is actually normally purple, but I printed the back of the the uh, pockets on this with this poison uh, page. And then I just, you know, I, the purple, I didn't find a good place for the purple, but I thought this this kind of grayish poison background page looked good on this one. So I uh, turned it inside out 
and used it that way. So that's another option. You know, you can make these little pockets, um, library pockets into any uh, print that you want really. And then here's some more of her little tags. Let's just fit right back in there. And she had these little um, labels uh, word labels uh, in one of her Friday freebies. So um, that was uh, a lot of fun. You can add those to this kit. I uh, made a little um, paper clip, hidden paper clip, out of one of the tags. And I just added it to this envelope that I added to the center of this signature. And here's one of her little journaling pot spots. This is also a Friday freebie. And I added some white to the edge of this envelope because um, I thought it was hard to tell where the envelope uh, ended uh, without that there <laughs> when there's nothing there's nothing in the insert. Um, made a couple little tags with a little bit of stitching. I don't know if you can see the stitching in there, but it just gives a little bit of texture. Uh, and you can use like a white gel pen on the back or a chalk pen um, to do some journaling. And if, if, these, if you find this too thick, you can just take these out. These are, you know, these are definitely removable. The other side of those tags, just some more journaling places. On the other side of that book page, with a ransom note, leave it in the cemetery next to Olive's grave. Ooh. All right, another little cluster here. Uh, that's a tuck spot, and another one of her little tags, and a little ephemera piece. And just tuck those in there like that. The other side of that book page. And here's another little tuck spot with a tag. It's like a little cluster tuck spot. I really like these. And then here's another little pocket the journaling spot. And this is a Friday freebie and this is one of her uh, ephemera pieces. And this is just some book page with some more of her ephemera pieces uh, inside to kind of tie it together with the rest of the kit. Okay, so this is the second signature, and you can see these are on elastic, so they they and they are removable. So if you wanted to take one out and just use one signature, you could. Um, but this is a, a felt um, doily. It has little bats on it, which I thought was really a lot of fun. You can kind of see this trim a little bit better here now that we're kind of getting down to it, but it's it's got these little bats on it, which is a really a lot of fun. I love this uh, printable of, of Kara's. And I put this uh, Friday freebie on a, um, on a journaling spot. And then this is, this has the, uh, the bat trim on it, which you can kind of see like that. There you go. And when you hold the book up, you can see the bat trim. Um, it peeks over the edge. It's hard to see, but you can kind of see right there. It peeks out of the, the bottom. Hard to see in, in this angle. Okay. I've got one of her tags I made into a page. Again, another piece of that uh, book page. <laughs> I 
this the ghastly times greeting from the graveyard i thought that was a lot of fun and i love this um this printable from Kara's. really pretty and some music paper with a little bit of ephemera attached to that and some trim And again, some more of these tags with some stitching on them. And this is a little tuck spot right here with some ephemera. And this is actually an invitation to a party. But I thought it would be a really fun place to do some journaling. And this is a um, one of Kara's printables. It's a, uh, a little uh, flask with some butterflies in it. I thought it was appropriate with these potions here that uh, were kind of fun. Um, but this, I actually... Um, printed it on some uh, shrinky dink, some inkjet printer shrinky dink, and then shrunk it and sealed it and used it as a charm in, in this. I've got some trim here, some lace. Another one of those little cluster tuck spots that I like to make. And this is actually a chalkboard um, sticker. I just cut it in half. It's a skull. I thought it fit well on this. There's the other side of that printable. Ghastly cottage for rent. Greetings from the graveyard. I thought that was this is such a fun little uh, book. <laughs> Great graphics. Uh, another little uh, journaling spot that flips up. And again, that little uh, frame around the number. I love that. Uh, I've got a little spider. Uh, oh, that came out. Okay. So, <laughs> a spider button and a fabric flower uh, and this has a little like a little tuck spot here with some more of Kara's ephemera just inside and then there's the back side of that um, felt doily and then I just left the the back plane you can add a little pocket or anything you want to this if you'd like um, but yeah, I really like the way this turned out. I think it's super cute. Um, it's, you know, perfect for Halloween, uh, for an October daily, if, you, if you're going to be doing that. Um, since this is already, already October, maybe not till next year. Um, but anyway, I, uh, I really like the way this one turned out. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, I... I'm curious if folks are interested in finding out how I made the edges, these edges um, for these pages. Jeez, these <laughs> these pages. If you're interested in how I how I did the edges to this page, these pages, and also how I made the um, the shrinky dink uh, charms. If you are at leave leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll do a video on those. Okay, so I'm just going to take this uh, insert out. You can see how it has the little, the little bats there. It's much easier to see on here. Um, trim. Just so you could see what this would look like with just one insert. It's, you know, definitely much more manageable with just one insert. Um, than two, but I had already gone ahead and made two inserts for this, so um, I'm going to include both inserts in this listing. I'm going to go ahead and put this on my uh, 
in my Etsy shop. Um, so if you are at all interested uh, in this, and you can see how it has the elastic here, and the elastic here, so it's a traveler's notebook style. Um, so if you are at all interested in this, uh, check out my Etsy shop. I'll have the link for that below. Um, if you are interested in this kit um, from Kara, again, uh, Haunted Halloween uh, from Kara Branding Creations, I'll include the link to that below. Uh, so that you can make your own projects with this. It's really a great kit. It's a lot of fun. Um, and I am realizing that I have so much Halloween stuff. I have a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff. I've got all these, I've got a bunch of these little skulls and pieces of, you know, the Halloween, um, uh, skeletons and these flowers and, um, you know, just, uh, you know, these, um, you know, these kinds of stickers and these kinds of, um, gems in Halloween colors and just, you know, I've got more of these felt, um, doilies and, you know, this, these stickers from Mar Martha Stewart that are adhesive acetate. So I've just got a lot of stuff that I don't think I can ever really use in one lifetime, frankly. So um, I uh, was thinking that I would put together some, uh, some kits uh, and post those on my Etsy shop as well. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in those as well. It'd be helpful to gauge, you know, how much interest there is in that sort of stuff. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing this walkthrough of this project. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below uh, to let me know you liked it. And again, if you'd like to see more uh, videos like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, again, this is Denise with Paper Crafty and Craft On. Thank you.